This is a really important day for us. Melissa Newsom is here, who, uh, with her very able and artistic assistant, Amy, who isn't here, uh, but created all these pieces for this nativity scene, this manger scene. There's the baby Jesus. And you'll see that the Ten Commandments monument will be draped so that it appears uh, kind of like a, like a little hill. A uh, yeah. yeah. A, a, a cave-like uh, background. We try to be as accurate as possible because as we understand it in the New Testament period, more than likely the shepherds would have kept their flocks in what amounted to caves in earthen enclosures, either natural or man-made. So if we kind of make the commandments, you'll see that as we set it up. And then each of these figures, uh, this is of course one of the wise men and one of the shepherd boys. And uh, Melissa, we got all the pieces, right? Uh, we do. We have Mary. Yes, we have Mary, the mother. There's Mary. Yes. And, and uh, has Joseph strayed? Joseph. Oh, there he is. Right there. Right there. Okay. <laughs> He's not strayed. There's, There's Joseph. Joseph. Yeah, these are all hand crafted. <laughs> Here's, uh, I think, is this the shepherd? Oh, that's the yeah. shepherd, yes. And then there's okay. three wise men. Good. And you'll see those going in in just a minute. Enough? More? Well, you can see it's starting to come together here, this beautiful collection of images of, of uh, characters in the in the creche, the manger, uh, Christmas scene, and and Melissa's been busy at work, and Dean, her uh, able-bodied assistant here, getting uh, the the star set in place. So if you're ever wondering how that star got into the sky above Bethlehem, now you know. Dean was there. No. Uh, that isn't how it went. Don't, don't anybody attack me on the theology. I understand completely. It's just a joke. Uh, but you can see how beautiful this is. And, uh, you know, Melissa, maybe I, I should just ask you about the origin of these uh, figures. Uh, this was Amy, and I'm so embarrassed I can't oh, remember last Amy's last name. Hinman. Hinman. Yep, oh, she's my that's sister terrible. And, right. Um, she would be here normally, except. She is with child herself. Oh! And yes, and also. Um, <laughs> well, congratulations and blessings to her yes. and, uh, and her baby. Yes, and my brother, too, of course. Of course. Um, <laughs> right, yeah, and she painted, mom and dad. She painted each one of these um, so just two years ago, I think, and in no time at all. She's such a gifted artist. Um, wow. This might be our second go round at the baby Jesus because it is very hard and challenging to draw a sleeping baby. Yes. Well, she did a nice job there. And we get compliments on this every year. We get people just say, oh, I love it. It's beautiful. I think a lot of people think of it as sort of folk art. Very simple, beautiful, tasteful art. She used wonderful colors, too, to draw people's attention to it. Absolutely. And the angle, folks, that you're looking at it from is the very angle that the justices of the Supreme Court see this display from every day that they drive by. In fact, Peggy, I wonder if we can turn the camera around and show you where the court actually is here. We're just going, uh, I, I don't know, I don't have my compass, so I, I can't tell you how many degrees, but we're just turning in a half circle here. And you see the Supreme Court over here. Well, this is where the justices leave the court every day and they turn left on 2nd Street here. All these cars are gone at that hour of the day. They're cleared out. It's not legal to park here in the, at the end of a business day. So by the time the justices leave, this is wide open, and they can look straight on and see what is normally the Ten Commandments. And you'll see just behind Dean, uh, the Ten Commandments sculpture has been covered with burlap to create that kind of natural background above it, uh, the star of Bethlehem and then the figures from uh, that original uh, scene, uh, the, the birth of the Christ child and, and the presentation of the child to the wise men coming from the east. 
and we have two of the wise men or kings uh, here to the right of the display and then one kneeling to the left. Joseph, of course, Mary, the baby Jesus, and then the worshiping shepherd boy. And it's amazing how many people will stop and pause to gaze at this and contemplate it. In the course of a day, members of Congress walk this sidewalk, leaders of Congress, of course, justices from the court, staff, clerks, uh, other federal workers here come by. Of course, we've had the president stop twice right here on this street, so who knows if he'll pay a visit uh, to the Supreme Court and get a look at it. And of course, this kind of a display communicates a message. This isn't just about art. It's not just about tradition. It's not just about the holidays. It's about communicating a message. Remember that words in print are just images. They're just curly, usually black, squiggly lines that communicate a message. This is the same. This is the word in pictures. It's the origin of stained glass windows. They were put in churches to communicate the gospel message, the Bible message to the illiterate, to those who could not read letters. So images were done in stained glass, uh, in other forms of art over the centuries. And it's not that people are illiterate here on Capitol Hill, though sometimes you may think of them as such. But no, they, they are very well educated people, but they don't have time to stop and read the gospel account from Luke chapter two. But they do have a moment to pause, look, reflect. They know what this message means. It is the message of the gospel. Behold, today is born to you a savior, Christ the Lord. So we're doing more than just putting up art here. We're communicating the most important and timeless message ever given to humankind. And it's that beautiful Christmas narrative. So this is going to be up until uh, uh, sometime in January, past the Epiphany, the, the Feast of the Epiphany, the Eastern Orthodox Christmas, which takes place in January. So this will be up for a little over a month. And a lot of people will get this message. Thanks, Elizabeth, for all the hard work you and Amy and Dean. These guys are just great and very, very creative. What do you think? The greatest gift ever given to mankind, reunion with you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We now ask all these things in Jesus' holy name. Amen.